What's up guys, my name is Michael and welcome to my YouTube channel. Today we're going to go over print in reverse. So basically given a linked list of uh, data, we're going to, with a data of 1, 2, 3, we're just going to print 3, 2, 1. Okay, so um, I'm going to do this recursively and I'm not going to use any data structure because, uh, yeah, I think that's what they want us to do. So here I'm going to explain how to do it recursively. So what we're going to do is um, we're just going to keep going next over and over again until we get to the end. Okay, so if I'm gonna re reverse print this, I'm just gonna keep going next over and over again until I get to the end. Then um, once I'm at the end, I'm just gonna return and go back. And every time I go backwards, I'm just gonna print out the statement whenever I go backwards. So here's basically the gist of the code. So uh, yeah, I'll, maybe I'll just rewrite this. Actually, I'll just, I'll just explain. So yeah. Um, here's what we're going to do. We're going to, if our current list is null, then we return. That means we reach the end of the list. What I'm doing is I'm going to keep on going to the next recursively call this function until I reach the end, right? So when I reach the end, that's when I list is null. So then I return. Otherwise, I'm going to just recursively call this function over and over again, and I'm going to pass in next, right? So I'm just going to keep going and keep going and going until I reach the end, right? And then if it's not, if, if it's a uh, null pointer, then I return. So now, whenever you return, you're going to go backwards on the stack, right? The stack is basically like the, the level of memory. So after my recursive call, I'm going to print out the data, the, the list of the, the, the linked list data, right? Every time I go backwards. So then the after your recursive call stack goes backwards over and over again, we're basically printing backwards. So yeah, that's pretty much the gist of the code. Um, if I want to show you guys how this basically works, uh, I'll show you guys right now real quick, but then I actually have to go soon. But um, so let's say, let's say we have one, two, and then three. So this is a linked list, right? So there's one, two, and a three, and this goes in all. So what I'm doing is I'm going to keep going to the next on to uh, recursively calling this. So is this a uh, null? Uh, it's not, right? So I'm gonna recursively call this passing the next. So whenever you go to the next, you're actually pushing into the stack frame. So the stack frame now has like two, right? Then uh, is this null? It's not. So I'm gonna go to next, recursively call it to the stack frame. So I'm gonna push three. All right, now I'm a null. Is this null? Yes, it is. Then I return. When I return, my stack frame is going to go back to this three. And what I'm going to do here is I'm going to print the data. Uh, yeah, print the list nodes data here afterwards. So then this is going to print three. And then after your return calls, stack frame goes, goes back, this stack gets off the stack, and then now we're at two. Now we're gonna print, try to print two. So once you print two, this call goes out, and I actually forgot to put one on the stack, but yeah. Then after this one goes out, and this call, the stack frame goes back, we're gonna print one, and then this goes empty. So we basically printed three, two, one. So yeah, that's the gist of this code. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Rate, comment, subscribe. That was it. So yeah, this is print in reverse, and yeah, I gotta go now. Peace.